勝負あったなキャスターよと奏者の勝利であるなぜ Bro, look at her tail That's a huge ass tail Um, I understand it's natural, it makes perfect sense. Hakuno Kishinami, the other me, steps between the fallen caster and Saber's blade without any hesitation. By now, I think I've come to understand the, the Hakuno standing there truly is me. If Saber had fallen, I would have done the same thing. That's how I know for sure. That he is the other half of me, and that he truly is Caster's master. So she cries? Yeah, Yeah. Hello? Well, I know one thing. The other me is cool. What? You didn't force me. It was fun. Caster's partner understood her needs and trusted her without hesitation. I can see the bloodlust fading from Saber's eyes. Caster and her partner have a bond, just like Saber and I do, and just like ours, it's invincible and unbreakable. Even I couldn't cut that bond. And this is myself I'm talking about. Servant and master, or maybe even more than that, to try and tear them apart would be boring and wrong. Or boorish and wrong. That's how I see it. よもつひらさかの果てさえも I guess not. What I tell you, Saber is the type of person who wants everything to be about herself. It's a fact. It's a fact. Can they at least join us? Like, Saber,そう。ということは、つまり、分かっているくせに通でない。王としての勝負は世の勝ち。だが。I wouldn't talk all that much now, but hey, I'm gonna just shut up. That's what I'm talking about. 
他に手立てがないものか探ってからでも遅くはない要はその要は寛大な皇帝にして神王であるゆえにさすがはムーンセルに認められた正統なる王セラフの再統一おめでとうございます Why do you pop up out of nowhere? What? Or are you not really who you say you are? And what skill would that be, Archimedes? ブシツケを許しいただきたい。それは構わぬが、気を入らせたか。二つのレガリアを持ってすぐに戻るというのに。キャスターよ。依存ないな。貴様のマスターは人々預けるが、王権たるレガリアは世のものとする。仕事あり
血税を絞り取ってね。Oh my goodness. Bruh. Hey, you said it, not me. All that boasting seems a little awkward now, doesn't it? Yeah. Say so. It's been completely disintegrated. Half the symbol of authority over the moon cell automaton or automaton gone. Y'all are gonna escape? わたくし、確かにネガリアは放棄しましたから、よろしいでしょう。問題ありますこちらのご主人様についてはご安心を。それはもう大切に、大切に。誰の目にもつかない場所で、たっぷり愛を交わさせていただきますかな。そちらはそ
short of the loss of a loved one. It's difficult to know what might be going through his head at the moment. However, this is, however, the story takes his expression. He's clearly discouraged and he doesn't seem to care if we know it. He must be deeply devoted to his work. Just try to find something to say to him, Saber quietly shushes me. What? You heard it here, folks. Saber does not like mortals. I tell her it's okay, that everything will be alright, even though I have absolutely no way of backing that up. あなたの微笑みはすごいな。泣きそうになったよが、一息で落ち着いた。うむ。では、世も あれこれと起こってしまったことは、もはや仕方ない。Hey, let them know. Just let them know. The sky. No. My intuition tells me it's not the sky. It's not the sky. The world is about to break. Right here, right now. Oh my goodness, is that the ring? It's the girl! What? What? Who's her master? Beyond the break in the world is a pitch black dimension, impossible to see through until an ominous light surges forward. A different class of hostile program. Or are they programs at all? I understand at once. They're broken programs. They're diseased, unable to function as they once did. All they do is run and run and run until their bodies crumble and break. They are the embodiment of destruction, and I can only imagine how many lives they've already destroyed. They cannot be allowed within Seraph. They are an incurable disease, a poison that kills life. A predatory virus leeching off the world itself, their void cells. Archimedes? Um, it's no use. Saber and I both reach out to him, but neither of us have any chance of grabbing him in time. The army of destruction rains down into Seraph's soil and consumes Archimedes' whole. I have a sickening feeling that both of us are next. Excuse me, miss. Um, um, that feeling. What happens next feels almost like a dream. All at once, the army halts. Apparently they're taking orders from the Maiden in White. The Maiden in... Wait. Haven't I seen her before? Yo, look at her sword. Yo, let me know your name. Or that. 
A maiden in white, brown skin, thin figure, red eyes, beautiful as hell. What? A warrior. That's how I can best describe her. She looks right at home with the sword in her hand, just like Saber. Yeah? She swings her sword, and afterwards, nothing remains. Nothing. Yo, this girl is literally the woman Beerus. She is a god of destruction. As if she's sheared a whole dimension away from existence. A, a dragon type? Hold up. I can hear the amazement in Saber's voice. She's impressed and surprised, but there's something darker in her voice as well. Something like fear. Our eyes meet. There I am, face to face with the maiden who cuts away realities. Ah, I realize something. I do know her. At least, I've seen her before. I remember now that episode of Vertigo after the fight with Medusa. What had been a murky dream is now eye to eye with me. I've never met her, not truly. I shouldn't know her, but I can say her name. The Sword of Mars, the Sword of God, wherever her home might be, it must be close to the throne of heaven. Her name is... Altaria. Nanda. I just say Altaria, it's Altera. You sure? Cause I dead ass just called her name. Oh, you're kidding me. There's a green one of me. Please no. Please no. Something does indeed lurk in the darkness beyond the break of the world. At first, I can't see its face, but I hear its voice. This was not what we agreed to, Altera. Please curb your destructive impulses for just a bit. Saber's right. The voice does sound like me. If I record myself and played it back, that's just what I'd sound like. And that voice's owner is standing right next to Altera. It's a strange life I live, where I see a duplicate of myself standing next to a potential enemy, and my first thought is, ah, this again. You're kidding me. She is certainly surprised and confused, but again, I still sense that same fear as well. There is no fear in the other me, only calm. Analytical interest. What? His body language is clear. He carries himself with unquestioning with unquestioning is it felty? I don't I don't I don't I don't know. Like we're just gonna skip that word and just move towards Altera. Okay, next sentence time. There we go. The other me, <laughs> my reflection, holds both affinity and hostility. He gives Saber a curious look. Do you recognize Saber? I ask. No, I've never seen her before. I can feel Saber's sorrow. No matter what the circumstances, the image of me giving her that cold, indifferent look is unbearable to her. I remember she told me that she was heartbroken once before. I can imagine her pain. So...
二人の奏者は名を思い出せずとも記憶はあったしかしそなたはそれすらないというのか共に戦ったよう共に戦ったサーバントを忘れたのかマスター女我がマスターに声をかけるなそれは The prisoner? Hold up. Hold up. Uh, what is happening right now? Wait a sec, 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 wait a sec. And we're back in the room. Okay. Okay, new content was added. A mystic color recipe has been added to the craft. Um, I'm confused. Two reasons. That woman, when we had the flashback, she kind of made the same like accusations of Saber, how we would look at her with like the intention of like wanting her to be next to her and everything like that. But when she jumps down to kill us, what? Or if anything, I do know that in this game, you obviously have three people's side stories, which we talked about in the first episode, the very first episode. We first off, we chose the flame poem arc, which is Saber's story. Then there was Caster's story and another Saber story. I feel like what this game does, and it takes you through each of the perspectives of the you, of the Praetor, of the game. So obviously, Saber's story, Nero's story, is what we're playing through right now. The next story is Caster's story, which is Tamamo. And the blue Hakuno, and then the other saber, which is her, the other girl who we know, Altera, and the green Hakuno. You know what? I put my hands up. I'm done. I've literally been recording for like an hour and six minutes, so I don't really know how I'm going to cut this up, but I don't want to have you guys watch an hour episode. So what I might do is either put this in two or three parts, depending. I'm not really sure myself, but if anything, what I'm gonna do is end off the episode right here. Thank you guys for watching. Oh my goodness, my voice cracked. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy, do not forget to hit that like button for your boy. And also consider subscribing to the channel as well. I feel like we literally just reached the climax of at least Nero story. I'm not really sure. Maybe the bond's supposed to be at level 10 before we go to the final boss. Who knows? But if anything, I want to get up out of here. Have a good day. Have a good night, wherever you are. And I will see you all next time. Rock your butt off.